Hi, I'm Paul Harris, CEO of Aurora Multimedia. Today I will be discussing and demonstrating the Aurora IPX 10 gig SDVOE solution versus the Crestron NVX 1 gig solution. The demonstration and information to follow is to show why a 10 gig solution is necessary, especially when using 4K60444. I'm not stating 1 gig solutions do not have a place, but they are best served for 4K60420 or 4K30444 and below, where the bandwidth requirements are not as demanding. Applications also determine which is better solution. 10 gig will always deliver the optimal image quality and the lowest latencies, which is best served in broadcast, medical, military, corporate, and more. 1 gig works very well for similar applications requiring lower resolutions, digital signage, K through 12 education, the Aurora VLX series is a 1 gig transceiver solution designed specific to these markets at more than half the cost compared to the NVX. 10 gig at 4K60444 is a 1.3 to 1 lossless compression with a maximum latency of 0.1 milliseconds. The NVX solution is a very high 20 to 1 compression leading to image quality issues, frame stuttering, and higher latencies of 30 milliseconds and more. When the bandwidth is 4K60420 or below, SDVOE over 10 gig Ethernet has no compression and only 0 0.022 milliseconds of latency. Medical, broadcast, and high quality usage will have issues with the 1 gig result, which will be unpredictable when it occurs. Even HDR can be affected if the original content is altered. For this test, we have a test pattern generator connected to a splitter which feeds the IPX and NVX units as encoders. Each company's decoder outputs are connected to the displays. This is a clean and simple test setup that we also recommend to try for yourself. The color text pattern shown demonstrates the ability to see images with detail clearly. As you can see, the IPX passes all color information and content flawless. On the other hand, the NVX content is fragmented, unreadable, and in some area the color has been altered. This can be a big issue for medical and broadcast or any application that expects to see the same as what you put in. Crestron electrically does accept a 4K60444 signal. However, when it is compressed with their 20 to 1 algorithm and decoded on the other side, it unfortunately lacks the quality claimed. Using a dot and grid test pattern, the NVX cannot stay locked well and starts to flash the content. Once again, the IPX is rock solid. Video wall and windowing modes become critical when resizing an image. Especially with video walls, when images are magnified and imperfections become more apparent, 10 gig with the higher quality image will have the least artifacts displayed. Scaling for the 10 gig solution is not only high quality, but the latency is less than 3 milliseconds even with scaling. 10 gig can transmit 4K60444 with USB 2.0 at a full 480 megabits per second or full 1 gig Ethernet at the same time over a single CAT cable or fiber cable. The NVX at the same resolution cannot do full bandwidth USB 2.0 or 1 gig Ethernet as 990 megabits per second is already utilized for the video stream. 10 gig SDVOE can work on PoE and PoE Plus as the power is 18 watts and less depending on models. Crestron's NVX uses 35 watts of power. Yes, 35 watts of power. There is no 1 gig PoE Plus Plus Ethernet switch on the market that can power all ports on a 16, 24, 48, and larger Ethernet. That will require special injectors which add more to cost and wiring complexity to an installation. This will result in a much higher cost per port system. A 35 watt unit is also a lot of heat to put near a display or in a tight enclosure with limited ventilation. Let's not forget the heat and utility costs. A 100 unit distribution solution will be 3500 watts, 500 units at 17,500 watts, and 1000 units at 35,000 watts. Thirty-five watts requires a large enclosure and limited locations to mount with the heat. This poses another issue as the excessive power and heat prevent wall plates from being made available. Aurora has in the IPX series a wall plate to complete the entire solution. 
10 gig Ethernet switch price per port has been continually dropping and is now as low as $100 per port. Since the NVX requires PoE++, the cost per port becomes more than a 10 gig solution for the 1 gig. There is also a high cost for the 1 gig 4K60444 solutions like the NVX, making the cost per unit almost the same as a 10 gig solution. IP-based T SDVOE IPX solution has full end-to-end -end encryption for the video, audio, and control. Don't be fooled by claims of 1 gig having better security from some solutions. The reality is the network switch is the best place to set security. If properly configured, no unauthorized user should even be able to access a device with or without security. Let's take it one step further. 10 gig is too big of a payload to end up on the internet through a breach. Even with a security breach, the bandwidth cannot electrically make it out of the building onto an internet connection, assuring an electrical limitation security, which the 1 gig solution cannot do. Infrastructure for 10 gig has future proof of 8K as the bandwidth allows for reasonable compression to achieve effective low latency results. Currently, at a 1.3 to 1 compression, 10 gig can reach 8K with 6 to 1 versus the 50 to 1 a 1 gig solution would require. 1 gig solutions are very cost effective and can provide a high quality image provided it is not 4K60444. Aurora's VLX series is a 1 gig solution with thousands of units installed in restaurants, casinos, churches, conference rooms, classrooms, and more. It delivers 4K60420 and 4K30444 at more than half the cost of a 1 gig 4K60444 solution like the NVX and uses only 5.8 watts of power, almost cool to the touch, and no fans. The need for high quality video distribution or 4K60444 is all about 10 gig with the Aurora IPX series beating the 1 gig 4K60444 solutions in all areas of image quality, latency, features, cost, ecosystem, and future proofing. Aurora currently has the world's largest 10 gig solution for command and control at 710 units and the facility has over 1200 10 gig IPX units. 1 gig unfortunately makes no sense at 4K60444 with a 20 to 1 compression, frame dropping, power, and no future upgrade path. Companies will always put on their best for their product at trade shows and documentation. The real proof is in a side-by-side -side to see which technology truly makes sense for now and the future. Aurora has made available simple test patterns and movie clips that can be used to truly prove which technology delivers the quality claimed. The test patterns can be found on auroramm.com forward slash truth. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out.